let's create a GPO central store. So we're going to go to the Windows folder and copy the policy definitions file. Now we're going to paste it in the Windows sysfile domain folder. inside of the policies folder actually we'll close out of this and work inside of server manager inside of group policy management we're gonna go to the domain controllers OU We're going to edit the default domain controllers policy. Let's expand policies, then administrative templates. Note the tool tip that tells you policy definitions are retrieved from the central store. We're now going to create some starter GPOs. So we're already in group policy management under the practicelabs.com domain down here we have starter GPOs so we select it right mouse click select new we'll call this one plab client click OK click on starter GPOs and we're showing plab client right click on plab client and select edit let's expand computer configuration administrative templates control panel let's click on personalization We're going to work on the Prevent Changing Start Menu Background GPO. We're going to select it, right mouse click, select Edit, and select Enable. We'll click OK. And let me expand this a little bit now it shows prevent changing start menu background is enabled let's close the editor window we're now back at the group policy management snap-in we're gonna create a uh, new GPO from the plab client starter GPO so we'll right mouse click on it select new GPO from starter GPO we'll name this one plab users click OK now we'll navigate to group policy objects folder 
and notice that the plab users GPOs created. Copying starter GPOs. If you need to replicate the settings of one starter GPO to another, you can make a copy of it instead of recreating it. So we're going to go back to the uh, starter GPOs area and we'll right mouse click on the plab client and select copy. We'll right mouse click inside of starter GPOs and select paste. We now have our copy of the um, Plab Client GPO. You could also export and import starter GPOs. Click on the Plab Client on the bottom here. Click on Save as Cabinet. We'll just save it with the default name. and that GPO has now been exported. You can also import the starter GPO. You want to make sure that you're inside of the starter GPO's folder. You're going to go down to load cabinet. You're going to browse for your cab. This is it, the plab client. Click on open. Keep the defaults. It's going to give you a warning that you're going to override the um, current GPL. Click OK. And you have now imported the starter GPL Plab Client. Configuring GPO links. We're going to go into the marketing GPO. Right mouse click on it. Select link an existing GPL. We're going to select Plab Users, click OK. Let's expand the marketing OU. We're going to select Plab Users. Let's right mouse click on it, select Edit. We're now in the Group Policy Management Editor. We're going to be working under user configurations, policies, administrative templates. Control panel. Select prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. Right mouse click on it. Select edit. Enable and OK. We're showing that this GPO is enabled. Let's close the Group Policy Management Editor and we're actually gonna shut this computer down. Let's verify the GPO's restrictions client. We're connecting to our Win810 box. Let's connect as another user. X out of this will agree to this license agreement. We're going to go to the start charm and try to open control panel and we get our restriction pop up. Let's click OK. Let's right mouse click on the uh, start charm and we'll sign out of this machine.
We're still on our Win8 machine. We're going to log in as the administrator to create a few user accounts. We're going to use a utility called Net. Let's go down to the Start Charm, right mouse click, open up an admins command prompt. Once that opens, we're going to enter the following commands net user and the username then assign it a password and and front slash add all right so we've we've added our first user and we're going to go ahead and add a second user. Again, the syntax is net user, the username, the password, and from slash add. And we've added our second user. To verify that the users are indeed added, we would simply type in net user. And indeed, it shows that Josh Fairbanks and Rebecca Higgins are added. Create local group policy. A local group policy is basically a scaled down version of the domain group policy, which will affect just the local computer. So we'll start by opening up an MMC. Let's click on File, Add Remove Snap In, scroll down to Group Policy Object, click Add, Browse, Users, Josh Fairbanks, and OK. Then Finish. Let's add one for Rebecca as well. Let's click Add. Browse, Users, select Rebecca, click OK, and Finish. So we now have group policies for Josh and Rebecca. Let's go ahead and close the snap-in. Let's expand the policy for Josh Fairbanks, User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Desktop. Let's right mouse click on Hide and Disable All Desktop Items. Edit, Enable, OK. Let's navigate to Rebecca's policy, User Configuration, the Administrative Templates, Start Menu, and Taskbar. On the Details pane, we're going to right mouse click on Lock Taskbar, Edit, Enable, and OK. Let's go ahead and close out of the council. It's asking us to save. We'll say yes. We'll just save it as the default name and the default location. We're going to go ahead and shut down via the command prompt. With the shut down front slash L command. Let's go ahead and verify some of these local GPOs. Connect with one of our users. We can verify that there's no shortcuts on the desktop. I am right mouse clicking right now and no shortcut menu is available. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of Josh right now. Let's go ahead and log in as Rebecca.
let's right mouse click on the taskbar and notice that the lock taskbar is grayed out let's go ahead and log out of Rebecca we're back at our Plab DC 1 device and we're gonna remove the Plab users GPO in order to avoid conflicts in our next exercise group policy filtering and this exercise we're, we're gonna exempt a um, group from inheriting the uh, group policies we're working from our plab DC 01 domain controller right now we're gonna select our domain right mouse click select create a GPO on this domain and link it here we'll name it screen saver disabled so right now we have this GPO object screen saver disabled it's gonna to apply to all users on the domain later we're gonna filter it so that it only applies to certain users let's go ahead and edit it let's go to user configurations policies administrative templates control panel and click on personalization let's select enable screensaver right mouse click it edit enabled and OK let's close the editor window we can now see that it is enabled so we're back at the group policy management window we're inside of the screensaver disabled GPO object we're gonna go down to security filtering select authenticated users and remove okay now we're gonna add the users that we want affected by this policy and it's gonna be the Gengineering group click OK and we've now added the G engineering group so basically this means that the policy screensaver disabled applies to the GE engineering group. let's close out of group policy management we're gonna verify the security settings by logging on as one of our GE engineering group members let's right mouse click and select personalize notice there's an icon showing that the screensaver is unavailable let's click the screensaver link and again it shows screensaver none the settings are grayed out so these settings were applied the filter was applied to GE engineering group and this user Jan Regis is in that group so therefore Jan has no option to set the screensaver let's click OK and log out of Jan we're gonna log in as our other G engineering group member John Smith and we're gonna right mouse click go to personalize check to see if the screensaver is available to him which it is not it has the icon indicating it is not when we click on the link there's no screensaver and the settings are grayed out so our group policy filtering is working perfectly let's go ahead and log out of this guy